What's up guys, BTBS here, or welcome back to another episode of Terraria. Uh, I have something I would like to start the episode out by doing, which is going to involve a little bit of teleporting. Swim and swim. So here we are at the uh, ocean and the jungle. I did a little bit more work on my ocean, flattened it out a little bit. I think it looks quite nice now. Ooh. Mine. The uh, the music can't decide which it wants to play. So what I want to do here: two, three, five, six, four. I want to build a little house out here <coughs> for uh, someone who's likely to become a very good friend. And uh, no, it's not a person. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's actually an NPC. And uh, yes, I'm building this because, um, as you guys might have noticed, a lot of NPCs have specific conditions to sell certain items. Like sometimes they'll only sell it on a blood moon, or only during a certain phase of the moon. Like the steampunk only sells the jetpack during a gibbous moon, I believe, or a waxing moon. And um, I am building this house out here <coughs> to get this little motherfucker, the witch doctor, to come and live in there. So I'm just going to leave quickly. Well, he's not teleported there yet. Go on, man. You know you want to go. I think he's left. Yes, he's there. So, the Witch Doctor sells an amazing item if he is in the jungle at night. He sells leaf wings. Ooh. I have no clue what that is. I'm going to buy the leaf wings, and then I'm going to come back. <coughs> So yes, I've been putting it off for a very long time, but I'm going to have to upgrade into using wings instead of my rocket boot combination. Because I mean, the combination's good, but it's just not as effective as wings. The wings are so much better. I just It's going to be so hard for me to get used to having wings instead of all this other stuff. So mate, what the hell is that? Summons a tiki spirit, eh? Well, it costs two platinum, so it is officially the most expensive item in the entire game. I think. Uh, no, I think actually the cyborg, who's a guy, might sell something better. Let's have a look. Is it seriously just a pet? That be that pet better fucking attack enemies. I better not just paid two platinum for a pet item. That better be a minion. I don't care how much I look like Crash Bandicoot. Two platinum for that is a waste of fucking money. No, you are just... Yeah, friendly Tiki Spirit. God damn it. Oh, fuck you, friendly Tiki Spirit. Oh, let's just put that away. So, um, yes, I've been putting it off for a long time, but the wings. I'm going to need to get a pair of wings, and if I show you what the wings can do, I'm sure you guys will agree they're a lot better than previous. So, let me do a comparison, right? Take the wings off. So I've got my frost spark and my balloon. And this is as high as I can possibly get. And now, I mean, I, I can just absolutely switch and take all this off. And then just put my wings on. And my wings can already take me like three times as high. And you don't take full damage with them. But if I combine my wings with my balloon, I can get a lot higher. I 
think these are good wings. I'm pr I, I, I've been looking on the wiki quite a bit to decide which wings to get. Because I was just like, oh, if I've got to switch my wings, I'm going to switch to the best pair I can. And I'm pretty sure these are some of the best wings. Because of how high they let you go. But I can't be 100% because obviously I've never really played with wings before. Let's see about going from the bottom here. Okay, so they take me all the way up to the silt room from the floor. So, yeah, you've got to assume that's pretty fucking good. Now I just have to get used to using them. And, I mean, what am I getting rid of? My idea, well, the thing is, I don't want to be using three movement items. So I was thinking I've probably got to get rid of the balloon or the frost spark boots. But the frost spark allow me to sprint. Which is sort of invaluable. So I should really keep those. But then the balloon gives me extra height on my wings. If I take the balloon off, I can only jump so high and so fast. See the moon just about disappeared. But if I have my wing if I have my balloon and my wings, I can go a lot higher. Uh, it's really hard to make the damn choice. Damn it. Fucking armor. But you know what? Um there is something else I would like to purchase from another person, which is going to cost me another platinum. And that comes from my friend, the uh, the wizard. I was going to say the witch doctor, and I was going to be the Doctor Mario. No, that's not right either. The wizard, yes. Well, hello. Uh, well, hi there, Smidor. What? I feel like he's trying to cast a spell on me without me knowing. Oh, he sells the mana pots. Nice. I want to buy the ice rod. Costs one platinum. Summons a block of ice. Now you may be asking me why the hell I want that, and I will show you. See that floating island up there? Even with the balloon combination, we can never get up there. We're not that far off, to be fair. But what the ice rod does, is it summons a block of ice that sits wherever you tell it to in the sky. So I can just do this. And then I can jump again. So basically, when you combine uh, any sort of movement item with the block of ice, it you gain the ability to move infinitely. And you know, you can use it in a fight as well. So it's definitely worth the one platinum I paid. I spent four platinum today and I'm happy about spending two of it. Put one underneath yourself. They do break after a while, by the way. So you don't even have to worry about cleaning them up. But yeah, this basically means I can just piss around, flying to the top of the world, floating around. Oh, wyvern. Cool. I actually wanted to fight some wyverns. I'm sure I showed you guys these wyverns before. They, uh, they spawn at, like space-ish level and they're absolute dickheads but they drop a decent amount of gold and then they also drop um, the souls of flight which interestingly enough is actually what you use to make most of wings oh I'm in space ah let's not die in space there we go Ah, I'm not used to moving with the wings yet. But there's a second island over here. I will just pick those up. Woo! So, yeah, I'm very glad that I made the wings, but I just... It's going to take me a while to get used to using them. And uh, especially when combined with the ice rod. They basically make the ultimate movement item. And I mean, right now, money is really not an issue for me, so it's actually kind of cheap. 
Hey, look, ice in the sky. Sorry, I'm really enjoying playing with my wings now. So yes, I've got some other stuff to cover as well. Um, let's see. Uh, beat the other boss. You guys saw that. Um, awful lot of money coming in nowadays. Uh, we, me, Seraph, and Metal Mosher have, uh, in varying groups, been fighting and killing multiple mechanical worms. I believe me and Seraph killed 35 of them last night, and me and Metal Mosher killed 30 of them the other day. And uh, I'm not actually even selling their drops. I've been keeping, I've been keeping the Souls of Flight because they're the important drops. They're the ones that are worth the real money. And then I've got some hallowed bars left over. <laughs> I really don't need to. I mean, if you take a look at one of these souls, they are basically worthless. Basically useless. You use them to craft the five keys, the mega shark, and the light disc. And I actually want to make some light discs. They're pretty cool. But yeah, basically, you need five for each one of these, so like 25, 20 for that, and five, so you want another 20 for that. And I have, you know, two and a half thousand of these things. They are basically worthless, um, basically useless. They're not worthless, because just this stack of these souls, which I'm, I know I'm saying just this stack, but, you know... The souls themselves sell for two gold each, so that stack sells for one, 19 platinum, 98 gold. So, you know, if I ever need money, I've got it. And uh, that was just one stack. I've still got another 669 of them there. And then these hallowed bars, which craft 12 into basically 30 gold. So I really don't need to worry about money. So I'm really not that pissed about all the money I spent. I'm going to put this wood stuff away. Yes, um, I planted a bunch of my death weed in the hopes that I would get a, uh, a blood moon soon. So, just because I'm really out of death weed, I wonder if I'll get rid of the water. Nope, awesome. Yeah, I'm almost completely out of actual death weed as a plant. Uh, let's see. Had a couple of pirate invasions. Uh, in fact, we've been farming them as well after certain drops. I got. Like, the rarest gun in the entire game, which I just didn't fucking want. This is the coin gun. It fires coins. It fires the coins from your inventory and then from your coin bar. And uh, it does different damage based on the amount of the uh, coin you're firing. So copper does 25. Silver does 50. Gold does 100. Platinum does 200. Which is an absolute waste, because one platinum coin can refine down into a million copper coins. So I think I'd rather do 25 million damage with nothing but copper coins, than do 200 damage in a shot. Let's see, I've actually been keeping a whole bunch of items. I've sort of picked up a bunch of stuff during my um, farming and uh, stuff off camera. And now I need to use it all. So, um, during the solar eclipse, which I told you guys about, I picked up some um, broken hero swords. And the broken hero swords are used to craft some very, very nice items. So what I need to do is craft an Excalibur here, which is an auto-swing sword, actually. That's not bad. Hey, it lets me moonwalk. Why the hell does this auto-swing sword let me moonwalk? That is badass as fuck. Why doesn't my cutlers let me moonwalk? Aww. Oh well, I got godly as well, so that's quite good. But what I want to do, you take these broken hero swords that you get, you combine one with the knight's edge to make the true knight's edge, which throws a spinning sword. Doesn't auto swing though. Yeah. But it's 93 damage, which is a decent step up from that. And then you craft the Excalibur with the Broken Hero Sword to get the true Excalibur. And that casts a beam. And then that itself is uh, 73 melee damage. I wonder what these are worth. Because if these are worth anything really good, it might actually be worth crafting them just to sell them. 
it's really just busy work when the Gungeoneers are easier to craft and sell better. And then you can combine your true Knight's Edge and your true Excalibur with another broken hero sword to make the Terror Blade. And this thing is gorgeous. Just look at this thing. And yes, it has a projectile weapon. It also, in my hands, does 112 damage, and that's a bulky one, which means, like, speed down. But yes, this is basically the best craftable weapon in the game. And uh, it's it fires its projectile pretty rapidly, I've got to say. Where am I at? Oh, I hit something. <laughs> nice. So with a decent pair of wings, you can easily glide from the house to the boss arena over here. So, let's see what the projectile can do. 146. 294. So apparently the projectile does 25% more damage than the actual base damage of the sword. So, yeah. It doesn't auto-swing, but it's pretty fast. <coughs> And then, you know, you have the projectile as well. Oh, 290 damage, man. That is gorgeous. Yeah, okay, th those wings just let me easily surpass my previous flight records with my boots. Whee! So, yes, I definitely wanted to craft that. I've been waiting for a while to craft that, actually. Shwing, shwing. I don't know if I'm actually going to use it though, because it's nice and all, but it's going to cost me an awful lot of money to reforge, and I mean, I'm not talking, you know, a lot of money for normal people, I'm talking a lot of money for me, 58 gold, so that is half a platinum, just to reforge it, and with my luck I'll have to reforge it at least 10 times, so it's going to cost me probably like 5 to 10 platinum to get that to legendary, and that's expensive, that's expensive as hell. Uh, I've also collected a whole bunch of random stuff, um, like these ice feathers, which drop from the ice golems during um, blizzards, are very cool. They, um, they they make a pair of wings as well, as do these broken bat wings. Uh, I got the rare drop from the uh, Eye of Kachuchu, which is really nice actually, it's a pair of binoculars. And you can look off screen with them. All you have to do is have them in your hand if you just follow my pointer. It's on the guide, it's going away, and it just the screen tracks to your pointer, more or less. Which allows you to look around. I mean this could be very useful when mining actually, if you had like a um a potion, a spelunker potion. Then you could uh, very very easily look around and find more stuff quicker and easier yes. so my head's really not in it right now, I'm just really interested in the whole flying thing I actually want to kill some more um, of them guys, who are they? The wyverns. I want to kill some more wyverns. Just uh, so I can get more souls of flight and try out different wings. I'm, I'm pretty sure these are the best. At least some of the best. Unless the wiki's wrong or, you know, a new patch has suddenly come out. Ooh, new patch would be awesome. Can't wait till they have more stuff. So what I might do is actually go around and just explore the entire sky of my map. Just be like, oh yeah, I know, I know the sky. I know every square inch of the sky. And it wouldn't even be that hard. Especially once you're up in space. What I like about space is it's got low gravity. So you don't fall as much, so you can easily explore it. There we go. Sorry, I'm just playing around my wings again, aren't I? It's fun. It's 
you know, just go across the entire map and never have to touch the floor. And of course, you all you have automatic slow fall, and then you have um, proper slow glide fall. Fuck you, penguin. Ha! Twenty nine damage. That could actually work as like. Oh, I wonder. I have extra mobility and ice. No, that does not count. Because like that, that this thing could actually serve as like a feasible weapon in early game. Yeah, icy floor. So there's a lot more uh, graveyards, a lot more graves appearing in the graveyard now. Let's have a look. This flailing belt was finally stopped by eye laser. That would be from the laser. Seraph died from flaming arrow. Metal Mosher watches in has become outed by a cannonball. Face torn off by a laser. Chopped up by a bullet. Everyone done fucked up, son. <laughs> nice. Uh, respawn in 10987. <laughs> oh, I imagine that was Metal Mosher's. He's quite. He likes his, uh, his respawning joke. Oh, look, I can fly from the floor all the way up to my house, like up to my roof. This is awesome. Hey. I must have killed some harpies above my base. So uh, yes, the actual, the real reason, real reason? No, the real thing I wanted to do in today's episode was uh, go to the jungle and um, mine up some new ore. I'm gonna take some spelunkers and some shine potions. Get off the rope. Take those. And to get to the jungle, we just teleport twice. Hey, Witch Doctor! Witch Doctor, look! I'm using those wings you sold me! Which you totally won't even admit that you sold me. Look! See? Man, I love those wings. I, I must say, I am already really liking these wings. So, buff, we have a Shine Potion and Spelunker Potions. And we need to go digging in the hard, hard mode jungle. So once you hit hard mode, you get all the new enemies and stuff, but the jungle actually changes again once you beat your first hard mode boss. Oh, Mimic. Oh, Philosopher's Stone, nice. They're really good for making money. So uh, yeah, I generally just, when I'm travelling, use my sword now because it gives off light and it's super cool. But that's the reason I actually started bringing these extra potions with me. Ah yes, there we go. Here is the new ore we've been looking for. You need a hallowed pickaxe or better to mine it. So that's why it appears once you beat the first boss. Because once you beat the first hard mode boss, you can actually um, create a hallowed pick. Which is the first thing that can mine this ore. And this ore is extremely cool. It takes six... Uh, chunks of ore to actually make a bar of it, which uh, may seem a little excessive. But yes, it is chlorophyte ore, and we're gonna need probably six thousand of it. But I wanted to show you guys this so that um, I could actually, because I don't like doing stuff for the first time off camera, as you guys know. So I wait until I show something on camera before I can go off and do it on my own. Which annoys the fuck out of uh, Metal Mosher and Seraph. Because they're like, oh, let's beat this boss. Oh, I haven't done it on camera yet. But yes, um, I've been waiting to mine this stuff for a very long time. Especially seeing as, uh, you know, I beat my first hard mode boss a good long time ago. And that was the old Destroyer. And I've been able to mine this stuff ever since I defeated him. But I wanted to do this stuff roughly in order using different tiers of armor. I could have gone straight to this chlorophyte stuff and made this armor. Like as soon as I beat the first boss. And then basically half of hard mode would have become easy mode. Because I had this armor that early on. So this thing here by the way. This pink thing. is actually a boss summon item. Much like the, um, the things that exist. Uh, what are they called? The Pulsating Hearts and Shadow Orbs. But this summons uh, a boss called Plantera. 
and it, it's probably going to be a couple of episodes and a couple of uh, friends with me before I try and fight Plantera. Because that bitch be hard. But I do need to beat her. For more than one reason. Ooh, look at this, it's just all everywhere in this jungle. It's just so nice. Spelunker Potion combined with the old uh, Shine Potion. It's just lovely, because you can see where you're mining. Oh, this is a life fruit tree. So if we actually get out of the... Like, stop giving off light. We can see that this is giving off light. This thing when it's glowing in the dark. That's how you find life fruits. Sweet. My life is already 460. And again, I suppose I found quite a few life fruits when I was just randomly digging. So yes, the chlorophyte is what we're after here. And um, it, if you get lucky, it grows in massive chunks. Like I found like 200 ore next to each other. Just because it, I got really lucky and it sort of grew in that sort of pattern. Ah, hornets. I was scratching my back. Damn you hornets. Ooh. Oh, I feel so powerful now that I can just fly. Do, do, do. Oh, there, that's the hard mode one, the angry trapper. It's really not that hard mode though. I mean, if it hits you, it can do like 80 damage a hit, which is surprisingly hard mode. But I'm actually, I'm trying to farm those things and get one of their rare drops. Because they have a gun that I'd very much like to have. Oh, that is a mimic in there. That is a mimic and no mistake. Because you don't get gold chests inside here, inside the beehives. Mimic! Ha ha ha! Called it. Magic dagger and a couple of these skeletons. Ah, just money. I'm after rare drops from so many various enemies that I can't not kill them if I see them. If I see them, I'm just like, oh, I have to kill them. Like this turtle. Have to kill him. I want his rare drop of, uh, well, I'm not sure if it's a rare drop. It's rarer than his money drop. And I don't have them all. Hey, dual hook! I'm actually still using the dual hook. I like the dual hook. It's a nice little grappling hook. Oh, my potions are worn off. Ah, there's a lot of uh, chlorophyte right there. The turtle's coming for me. Be wary of them turtles. They can hit really, really hard. Like, that's something I was actually surprised about was how many enemies can still hit me for like 80 to 100 damage even though I'm wearing the hallowed armor and I have all this extra defense. I've got 62 defense and that turtle can still hit me for 100. Which you know means all I need to do is stop paying attention for like 3 seconds while it comes and stands on me and I will be dead. It's kind of unnerving. And so uh, I'm going to farm some more chlorophyte. Just, I'm just going to find as much as I can. And um, I will see you next episode where we're going to craft the chlorophyte armor set. It's probably going to be the first thing I do. Because I want that armor set real badly. The armor set's awesome. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I will see you uh, next time. I've been BTBS. This has been Terraria. I did those in the wrong order, didn't I? Life fruit. Sweet. I will see you next time, guys. Peace out. Yeah, murder all the things. Murder. Peace out.